I'm back for another second, people. Um, I realized that there was some math that I forgot to go over, and I want to calm some fears about Mullen and a potential reverse split. So let's understand this, people. Mullen is probably dropping the next two to three trading days, and then I think we'll start to find a resistance and then find a squeeze. And I'm thinking if you're holding, like, I wouldn't sell a single thing that I'm buying in that last video until we hit at least $2. And then even then, like, if I do sell something, it's only going to be to buy some puts temporarily and expect in one day for it to drop 30%. And then I swing all that money back to calls and I expect it to go to 5 10 all the way to potentially $23 by July. And then by November, I think we could be up to $100, if not more, um, maybe even 1000 Like, I, I truly believe Mullen will be the most valuable company in the world, and it will be, for at least a moment, more valuable than the biggest companies all combined. And so, I might be wrong about that, I might not, but as long as I'm right about the first $2, you should be able to 40 extra money and in no situation like if you lose some of your money after you should have already cashed something out to where like you don't feel like you lost and so do what you got to do i'm not here to guide nobody no more i'm just here to do my own thing make my own money be happy and watch the babies cry um so we are gonna do a little bit of math real quick. The math is simple. I'm not gonna use Mullen's exact numbers, like I can briefly go over them at the end, but I'm gonna use easy math for now. So we're gonna assume a stock is worth $1, and we're gonna assume that there's 100 million shares that they could ever dilute. Well, you gotta understand, they cannot dilute a, a, a share at $2 if the stock price is $1. They can only sell it at $1. So what does that mean? That means if retail wanted to buy every single share of the company, it would cost them at that price $100 million. Well, what happens if you buy 20 million shares of the company and they're like, oh no, like 20%, that's a lot for retail to own. Let's let the price go up so a bunch of people sell and then we'll crash it down. And then a lot of people will sell because they got losses now. And that has just been a repeat for a hundred years. And so, the fear that I want to squash today is the reverse split. Now, I can't promise you the fear should be squashed, but I can promise you I'm going to do everything in my power to make it squashed. And here's how we can squash it. So, if they have 100 million shares to dilute and they announce a 100 to 1 reverse split, well, what's going to happen is that $1 share is now going to be worth $100 and every 100 shares you had, you're now going to have one share. And so the problem is that reverse split doesn't get affected on the 100 million shares they haven't diluted yet. And so that 100 million shares they have times the $100 stock price that it's currently at now, now makes their dilution instead of worth 100 million, $10 billion. Does that make sense? So here's the thing though, if they announce like there's going to be a reverse split, which Mullen has for August, and you know you have 30 days. Well, they currently have, at most, 2 billion shares to dilute right now. And unless they get another vote, unless they do something shady, that's never going to change. And so, if we... And David promised that's not going to happen. And as far as I'm concerned, Dave, David's the hero. Like, we need to do a hashtag save Dave and just make it go viral and everyone buys Mullen stock just to save David because he did the work to deserve a billion dollars and they stole it from him that's unfair and all things that are unfair must be redeemed so if the one dollar and the 100 million shares they announce in 30 days that they're gonna do the change it to a hundred a hundred to one reverse split so now it's a hundred dollars a share and now their hundred million is worth ten billion well, if retail sees that and instead of cowering like cowards, runs away, decides to stand up and say, okay, I understand the rules of this game. You're saying that your dilution right now is worth $100 million, but in 30 days it's worth $10 billion. But if I buy $90 million worth of shares at this current price, 
then you only have 10 million shares worth left. And so that 100 to 1 reverse split is now going to be instead of 100 or instead of 10 billion, it's now only going to be 1 billion. And if we get in a situation where it's 1 billion possible dilution, and this is early August, we've already had a mini squeeze. If we get to the point where they have 1 billion possible dilution after a 100 to 1 reverse split, well, guess what? That 1 billion, so let's compare it to AMC. AMC had 450 million, 400 and I think it was 12 million shares. So 412 and the stock price was at $12. So the market cap was, or re, re, no, no, the market cap was $5 billion and hold on let me get this right and so they had 500 million shares they could have total but we denied them a, a vote so that means they had 88 million shares left times that by 12 that's 1 billion 56 million dollars if everything i just said happened to mullen just like that we buy 90 percent of the dilution which at most or at the current stock price would cost us probably a little less than 250 million dollars in the next 30 days we will be in the exact same situation as AMC was, except for the fact that at the 100 to 1 reverse split, there would be, if we bought 90% of the dilution, there would be roughly, let's just say, 3 billion shares. Um, and if we divide that by 100, we would get 30 million shares. So there would be 30 million shares. We'll just do 30. And of 30 million shares, we know that the price of 100 to 1 would be $10 a share. So there'd be a $300 million market cap. and A $300 million market cap. So they have the same amount of dilution as they had as AMC. When AMC was at $5 billion of market cap before it squoze to $60 billion market cap. And now we start at $300 million market cap, which is how much they already have in the bank. And they have the exact same amount of dilution price power at this current stock price. So what I'm suggesting to you is that this stock price is way too low. And so even if they're going to reverse split, they still have to raise the price first because they have to turn this $250 million of dilution power into a billion dollars so that we can only buy 60% of the dilution in the next 30 days instead of 90%. Does that make sense? But like when I do videos like this and they go viral back in AMC days, there was three different times where I go viral and two weeks later, the AMC CEO says that retail bought 500 million shares, whether it's from Dilution or Wanda CEO company or the insiders selling, everybody was selling and every time it was announced, retail's movement grew larger. Same thing has been happening to Moen for a year and a half and it is time, people. Like, it may take another one to two weeks for us to really see something that we want to see, but it is time, people. Let's go.